guys, check out the next level games for all your TCG needs. Link is down below in the description of the video. Thanks, guys. What's up, everybody? <clears throat> Welcome back to the team. Fish Knuckles YouTube channel. So this is day number two of trying to win a game without doing any damage via Missy Clover and Gertie Dice. So if you notice, it has changed up a lot. Whew. All right, so we have gone a different strategy with this deck now. We were using Oranguru Jirachi, but now what we're using is a Lantern, which has Salvage. Shuffle says, Salvage says, shuffle four item cards from your discard pile into your deck. All right, so we can get four item cards back from our discard pile into our deck, which means we can get our Clovers, all four of them, back in one turn. And the way we're going to draw these guys, instead of using um, cards like... Um, Lookers Investigation, Underground Expedition, we're using Zark for that trade, so we can trade, draw a bunch of stuff, and go about it that way. We have included some new friends as well. There's a ditto for Almighty Evolution, because now we're playing a 1-2 McCargo line to squeeze some space in here. We're playing 2-2 two -two Zork and a 3-2 two -two, three -two Lantern, and Lantern is probably going to be our main attacker going into this for sure. Uh, we have Cartana now. Cartana has that Blade GX. You can just take a prize card. So another way we can take a prize card without doing damage, which is fantastic. Uh, we still have the Jirachi. still the Mr. Mime, Clover, and Greedy Dice. So what you doing? <clears throat> uh, we've added Nest Balls as well into this deck, so we can draw into these um, these set, set up Pokemon. Two Super Scoop Ups, so that we can try to pick our Mr. Mimes back into our hands and the Jirachis as well. We are playing an AZ and Cassius to kind of split up 1-1, one, one, so that way you can AZ a Mr. Mime into your hand, instead of just Cassian back into your deck. I mean, we never got that far into it. Um, we're now playing three Cynthia, some more draw, draw cards, and two cores, because we only had two cores, so we need more draw cards. We have five outs to draw cards. We still have our four trainers, one for support, and five metal energies. The only thing I'm really scared about is the five metals, because that is very, very scary. Uh, playing only five medals, but we'll see how it goes. You only need to use your lantern about two times if done correctly, right? If you can lantern, um, get the four clovers back, lantern again, a lantern again. You should only need those. We, um, Zaya said we do probably need an egg. So what should we cut for an egg? Um, the only realistic thing I can think of is maybe the nest ball. I haven't tested the deck yet, so that's the only thing I'm concerned about. He said you can just use the egg to propagate and trade and go that route <laughs> instead of discarding stuff out of your deck. But the greedy dice is what I want to try to trade away if we do need to. Uh, so I'm gonna, let's, let's play some greedy clovers again. Day number two, trying to win. We ran into an issue yesterday of why, you know, we, we took a prize card with Jirachi and uh, we didn't activate its ability. And as we play more and more and lose, oh, Globe 450. Yes, shout out to skateboarders everywhere. If that's Globe as in like, Glow skate shoes. I'm trying to figure out what my cat's doing right now. Alright. <laughs> as we lose more and more games, we'll play against, I guess, not so good decks. And uh, that will actually help us uh, get these prize cards. We're probably never going to win against a real competitive deck. That's just just how it's going to work, unfortunately. Uh, so when I get the Nine Tails Delphox Break deck, I mean it's still it is still scary, um, for sure. So we'll start Mr. Mime. Uh, no Ultra Balls, no Nest Balls, unfortunately. Right now we can like attach a Metal Energy if we want to Mr. Mime, so we get that retreat. Uh, there's no Float Stone in here as well, which is the only thing I was trying to figure out what we could fit in here. Uh, but we're just you know we're just trying it out right now. So this Cynthia for New Hand of Six, so he can't attack me. Next, if he can send me, that's about it. So we're gonna nest ball. Uh, we're gonna go for the Zora. Okay, so let's look at who is prized. We have three Clovers prized. Is this even worth playing? I think this is just an auto scoop. We have two Clovers prized. We have one in our hand. We have two. Like there's nah. It's it's just not happening. There's just some games you just gotta throw away, and I feel like that was one of them. Zora, what you doing? Come here, Zora. Come here. Okay, I don't, Zora's gone crazy, guys. She is uh, on a rampage right now. I don't know what she's doing. She jumped on Chelsea's desk, and now she jumped in the window. If you follow the Snapchat, Marketing22, you can see Zora in action sometimes. Um, but yeah, let's try it again. That game was just like, there's no way we're winning, right? Um, we had two Clover's Prize. It's just, it's just I don't know. Like, We've we got to make sure we have optimal hands, right? If we're, we're, if we're using, if we're trying to win this week, we need to make sure we have great prizes 
All right, so let's see here. So we start Mr. Mime again. We can start Kartana and just Blade GX from the start and just take a prize card and just kind of go from there. It's got some tankiness with the Blade with the 170 HP, so it's not getting knocked out so quick. So I'm fine with doing this. We touch a metal. We can just Blade GX take a knockout. Uh, take a prize card, not a knockout. Sorry. So Shuckle Wimpod. Okay, so once again, we're not attacking, but your poison is scary um, for sure. So those are DC on to the active. We see a Shrine of Punishment. And an end. We have no stadium cards. So that Shrine of Punishment is going to be there for the rest of the game, unfortunately. Hmm. Okay, so Chin Chow, Mr. Mime, Lovable, or Nest Ball, sorry. So it's a Viper coming online, okay. Did y'all hear that? My cat. <laughs> Chin Chow, uh, go Nest Ball. For Zor, for sure. Okay. Let's see our price. Okay, so we have two. Oh, man. This is probably the best, like, situation you could be in, right? We have the, the Jirachi in there. We have one Gritty Dice. All four Clovers in our deck. This could be the game, guys. This could be what we need to win. Right? <laughs> All right. So we'll put down Chin Chow. Yeah, I think this is fine. Press done. I don't want to have to use Scoop Up Cyclone so early, but we, we'll have to see how the Trip Poison starts affecting us, right? If he, like, more Cyphers come down, he poison us, we could be in a bad situation. We do have Super Scoop Up and Scoop Up Cyclone, Cyclone in our hand. Uh, so Grass is going to win pod. Okay, there's an Ultra Ball. Might see a Galissa pod come down. 120, 130. A Choice Band would knock us out if he does have that. Go down to four prize cards. But this is, like, the most optimal hand we've ever had. So there's Galissa pod coming down. Uh, he's got the one retreat cost, so he can retreat to Glisspod this turn. And he does 120 right now. Uh, Flowstone, the Shuckle. Sycamore, okay. Does he find a Choice Ban? Okay, Ultra Ball. Uh, Cynthia and Guzma. Let's see what else I put on guys. So there's another so Viper. Does he have a laser? Uh, 20, 30, 40, 50. That would knock us out. Hey, Zor, you, you, you okay? What are you doing? Uh oh, we're, we're getting knocked out, guys. We are getting knocked out this turn. Oh, goodness gracious. The turn two, first impression. Oh, the 120 plus the triple poison. No, perfect numbers. My goodness. All right. Well, we'll send up Chin Chow. Hmm. We have an option here, right? Man, it's like our best hand ever. And now it's just like, just falling into pieces all of a sudden. Alright, Shrine's coming down. I mean, he can DCE armor presses for knockout. That's about it. If he goes that way. So, Floatstone. Guzma, Zora, for sure. Retreat to Glisspod and Knockout going down to three. This is like the best prizes we could ever have. No! See, if these Chin Chows were Jirachis, man, we'd be doing good. Oh my. Alright, send him Chin Chow. Of course! Alright, we're, we're conceding this game. It's another. It's, it's not gonna work. It's not gonna work. We're already down. Too many prize cards. Oh, bad hands. Man, that was like the best prizes ever. No, we just didn't hit anything. Man. All right, let's go again. Don't give up, Josh. Iron Reefus. All right, Iron Reefus. What do you got for us, buddy? All right. Call the coin flip. Let's see here. Let's see what they got for us. We won the coin flip. All right. Yes. I would like to go first. All right. So on our turn, let's see what we got here. All right. So we got a bunch of different stuff going on. But once again, no supporter cards. This is why I like the Jirachis. Because Jirachi will be able to... I mean, huh. Maybe go Jirachi... Jirachi Chin Chow instead of Zork. Like the best of both worlds kind of thing. 
Uh, all right, so Hoopa will Gladian. We'll go Ultra Ball to grab a Zork next turn. Press done. So there's no Clovers or Greedy Dice in our in our prizes or Jirachi. So like we <laughs> we had some things. Uh, I mean some good news, some bad news, right? There's no Clovers, but there is a bunch of stuff in our oh in the deck that we need to be in the prize cards. Three Zars, okay, great. Hmm. So Ultra Ball. One and two to grab a Zork. We'll put down Zork. We will trade this card that Mr. Mom drawn two new cards. Trainer's Mill for Santa for new hand of six. There we go. Alright, so we're drawing some stuff. Let's see what we find. Helpful in Macargo? Or just nothing. That works as well. Um, we'll press down right now. All right. And so we can trade away a greedy dice, thin our deck down some more. All right. So in, we both get new hands of six. This is fine. Our hand wasn't that good. So we got a lantern, super scoop up, clover. So there's a Zark GX coming out. Okay. You got the double Zark GX, okay. We're trading this card in the Mewtwo. Whoa, it's like old school Zark here, man. This card's a farting, okay. Floatstone. Retreat. DCE. Ride is speeding. <clears throat> So luckily Cartana can help us here just a little bit. Um, if we can flip our heads on a super scoop and put these Zork back in our hands, then Cartana will be okay for like a turn. Uh, spit out the Lantern. We'll put down Cartana, slice off the DCE. We'll super scoop with the Zork. Hmm. Um. We could trade for a VF Seeker. So let's trade, discard the Lantern, and hope we hit a VF Seeker for AZ. All right, it worked. So VF Seeker for AZ. We'll AZ up the active. Sin of Cartana, put down Zora, attach a metal, and Blade GX. Okay, we'll take a prize card. There is a Gladian. Alright, so the Gladian's back at your hand. Once again, there's nothing really in our price cards we really need, unfortunately. Uh, let's go down to Zork and probably just trade. Remember with Cynthia? We'll see what he does first. If he puts under the DC deactive, we can via Seeker AZ the Katana. Um negate the damage again and get rid of the, the DC once again. Number two DC. But he's got three trades this turn, so he should be hit one. Yep, there's a DC going there. We see a trade happening, okay. This card's a Brigetti. The question is, does he play Skyfield? Hmm. You gotta think he does, right? There's no way he doesn't play Skyfield. We really need him a cargo as well. Um, that would help us out a lot. But nope, just a Riot is beating for 100. Okay. On our turn. So we get a Ditto. Um, the thing about Ditto is we can't really use it because these are three... Well, we could... Yeah. We could put down the Ditto. Put down the Zark. <clears throat> Trade away the Gladian. Draw two new cards. Trainer's Mail. Grab the Greedy Dice. Just get a. We could grab the Chorus. Chorus for a billion. Um. Let's go Greedy Dice. And just that so we could trade it. Yeah, I'm fine with that. We'll via Seeker of the Cortana, or AZ of the Cortana. Okay. And then we'll put it back down. So pick up the Cortana, put down the Zark, put down Cortana. Yes, discard the DCE. 
And I'm gonna press done for right now. Okay. So special charge back to two to two so, well. Hmm. Buzz swall coming down, okay. Maybe I should have grabbed the It's fine. Now I, I think if cause we hit the Vesicker or the Cassius. We can shuffle the Zork back in the deck and negate this damage if he does hit a DCE, which, I mean, he should. Oh, Parallel City. No. Oh, goodness. Can we even win now? Um, And I mean, like, so for real, because with a limit of three, right? Uh, yeah, with a limit of three, we can never put the Jirashi play. I'll have to constantly just take one prize cards, and then it never works. So that's an instant, like, auto loss. Like, yeah, that's the instant loss, unfortunately, because when the, when the, so maybe we need one Fibbler in the deck, okay, um, man, we were doing okay there, unfortunately. Hmm, yeah, because we're never able to pull the Jirachi Mind Playoff, ever, and we need that to happen so we can take two prize cards to, to help us out. Why can't we just play against a mill deck? <laughs> So I really want to play against. This one back is mill deck. My elo just keeps going lower and lower. But we're still hitting like competitive-ish decks. Right? And that was like a Zorg Buzzle deck. Like a, not a real thing too much. But it's still there. For sure. It's like next week will be like Josh's like episode of like, hey, let's uh try to fix our our ranking. All right, what we got here? So we got heads like always. Lost the coin flip, unfortunately. Okay, they're gonna go first, obviously. Tygo thirty seven. Okay. So on to my opponent's round. Okay. <clears throat> so Zora nest ball for a. Do we go? I think we go for a second Zora if we have one, or the Ditto. We'll probably go Ditto, just because if the Zora survives, we can turn the Ditto to my cargo. And if Zora gets knocked out, I get the then I can turn it to my cargo itself. So I think it's a better way to go about this. Uh, okay. <clears throat> oh goodness, another. Oh, blah, blah, blah. <clears throat> what is that card? Okay, communication. Now, can we survive a Sutta Wudo? That's the question. Um, I think we can survive a Sutta Wudo. But that just means we have like Chintel, Macargo, and then like the two spaces are like Mr. Mime, Jirachi, right? So Skyfield coming on in this, and this is okay for me, right? So Laser, okay, Shea for five, Heads will go Night Night. So like, you think like we're getting knocked out next turn, right? I feel like we're not gonna survive the turn coming up. So we're gonna be super good with this upcoming turn. So compressor the egg and the other some other stuff. Man, it's going downhill so quick. Once again, if we had the Jirachis, if we use Jirachi right now, even while we're asleep. Just keep going in my head, like which one's better, Jirachi or this one? Cause maybe we go Jirachi Lantern. Um still play the colors and stuff. And I think that might be the how we want to go. Like we combine the best of both worlds. I'm just not the big of a fan of going with the Zark because we can't use it right now. So pass for 10. Okay, heads. His hand must be like loaded. That's what I'm guessing, right? Man, as much as I would love to play that, I can't. So, unfortunately, the wrong prism's in the deck. Um, we'll go with this. We have one clever prized, one greedy dice prized. Okay, the Jirachi's in the deck though, unfortunately. So grab another Zora. Um, I'm gonna scoop up. No, we're just gonna Cynthia. I was gonna scoop up Cycloning, but then it just, just seems like irrelevant stuff right now, unfortunately. Um, I'm just gonna pass right now. Because I'm gonna Ultra Ball for a. Uh huh. I want to Ultra Ball for the Zarg and go that way. We might see a Taku later. Shea Bay come down, so Shea Bay come online. Okay. 
I'm hoping he keeps benching a bunch of Pokemon, which is like good and bad because he's gonna be a one shot at Zark next turn. Uh, but we'll get the draw more chorus. Oh, there's DCE. Ditto. Right is beating, 120. Okay. <clears throat> Send him Zora on our turn. Okay. What do we top deck? So Ultra Ball, Guzma, Cassius. For Zark. Three, four, five. Put down Zork and we'll color for five. Trade the Gritty Dice. Trainer's Mail. Hmm. <laughs> I think we lose this game as well, like real quick. Hmm. So Garbodor Trash Lunch. If it goes Garbodor Um Garbodor Toxin, Floatstone, we kinda lose from there as well. Drachi, what is that doing there? Like a budget Zark deck. Okay. He needs a choice to be more bench Pokemon. What's that? Klefki? Okay. Prop trade. 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 14, 16, and 18. He doesn't have the knockout just yet, but turns that over yet, guys. So Ultra Ball 1 and 2. Uh, show me Garboder. Okay, that's the wrong Garbodor. I'm fine with that. I imagine that's a card called Choice Band. Huh. Okay. Hmm. Stretcher. Should we stretcher three into our deck? One, two, three. I mean, what do we do now? He's just constant knockouts, and I don't think there's any way to go in this game. I mean, we'll course for a bunch. So we can mime. That could have made it. That could make it a lot worse. We put a clover in our deck. Just to let you know. We went for two. <laughs> we put a clover in our deck. <laughs> oh my goodness. Okay. Oh my goodness. Oh, okay. Let's try this again. One last time. All right. This might be the last time for today. Um, so this is going way worse than J Jirachi did. I'll say that for sure. And it's going a lot. Because with Jirachi, we're able to constantly use our ability. All right. So let's see here. We won the coin flip, okay? Yes. I would like to go first onto our turn, okay? Okay, we can look at our face down price cards. Look at one of your face down price cards, uh, to be exact. But we have double greedy dice in our hand already, which is not good. I mean, we can nest ball for Zora and kind of go from there. I have no idea what we're playing against right now. Jirachi is in the deck. We have two greedy dice prized. All of our Zorks are prized. It's always good. So we have two Zorks prized. Great, great. Uh, I don't know what else is prized. Wait, hold on. So two. Zork, a greedy dice, a lanterns in our hand, a Zora surprised. I don't know. We're grabbing Zora for right now. Uh, we're done. 
all those or maybe, maybe I should have uh definitely should probably just grab like slugma but if we type in gladian we can gladian and zork out yeah so how for three man i would kill for a how right now can i be a secret for your how please so a bell don't come in a line ultra ball let's see what we got here guys Rare Cane and Eva, so this seems like two pretty good cards. I, I don't know. Drill Burr, okay. Dribble coming down. Metal Energy there. Spelunk, look at top three and put them back in any order. All right, seems, whatever. I'll allow it. I will allow it. On to our turn. What will we get? Um, I know that seems silly, but at least we can like love a ball for a slugma next turn, and like we should have definitely got slugma. Like I don't know what I was thinking. Like that was a huge misplay on my part. No surprise there. Okay, Sear, what does God allow? I mean, this might be our chance. Oh my goodness, what do you do? Oh my goodness. Alright. 3, 6, 9, 12. Okay, so Nest Ball. 3, 6, 9. Okay, so you can't knock us out this turn because we have Metal Resistance. <laughs> ha ha ha. Got him. Metal Energy there. Okay. Just pass. Alright, well, there's the Nest Alright, let's grab Slugma. Okay, we'll grab Slugma. We'll pass. Uh, well, let's just salvage. Go back in the deck. I mean, maybe, maybe this is the game we, we win, because I don't have no idea what we're playing against right now. I mean, put down my cargo, and then we can smooth over Gladian. And that's, what does this drill bar do? Am I should be scared. But he can't attack right now, because he has one or three costs for this guy. Okay. Hmm. So you can attack twice. Oh my goodness, we hit a Cynthia. Thank you, Pokemon. All right, so Cynthia, we hit a six. And then we can smooth over whatever we need. A Nest Ball, it's not what we need right now. So let's smooth over, grab a Gladian. Okay. <clears throat> I mean, this might be how we win. I know, I don't know what we're playing against, but maybe this is how we win. Uh, Dribbler was so I can, uh, I can attack twice. And most I can do is 30, so that's 60. Gold Rush is actually what I'm scared of. Uh, I don't know what his Metacross is. He's playing the GX. Not the GX, I don't know. Alright, it's a Metang. Alright, he's slowly getting there. Ultra Ball. So once again, he can't take a knockout because that is 90, so that's not enough. So that's good. A Lolan Duck Trio, okay. So see another Lolan Duck Trio come online. Metal Energy there. Pass on our turn. Okay, so we're gonna go Gladian for the Zark. Okay, so Greedy Dice is middle well it shuffles anyway. So this trade No! <laughs> Okay, last game, and then we're done for the day. And then I think, okay, but this doesn't go as well as I think it is. We're switching over to the Jirachi Cenozark, is what I think we're gonna do instead. And I'll figure out way how to figure all that stuff in there. Oh no, I was feeling so good.
<laughs> okay, let's try it. Start Katana so we can tank. Zoro, we got double nest ball, find a slugma, a, a chin chow. Maybe we hit a metal energy, go for blade. Okay. Oh, I don't want to play against Zapdos, Jirachi. It seems so hard. I don't want to play against this. Uh huh. We're wishing upon a star, wondering where you are. Okay. Nest ball. Okay. Oh, it's going to be a Zapdos. I know what it is. No, I hate that we're winning. <laughs> no, I like my hand so much. It was so good. <laughs> oh, no. Why did he concede? All right, let's try it again. Well, one more time. I want one real game. We won two games, though. The Gambill. Okay. So we lost the coin flip. Okay. Oh, opponent's turn. Okay. He's going to see the Mystic Lover. He's going to know something special is happening here. We are now in a three winning streak. We've won three games in a row. What's happening? I don't know. But we won three games. Berto the illest. Berto, don't you quit on me, buddy. All right. All right. Come on now. Come on, Berto. Alright, so press done. We'll start Katana. We're tanking again. Put down Slugma. Looking good. Press done. What are we putting against? We get a Mulligan, so that's good. Alright. Ooh, some kind of strong mm, energy deck thing. We'll see here. I mean, we got the Macargo for next turn. We got the Ulch Ball, which we can discard Mr. Mime and something. Train is my little hope data supporter card, maybe? Yeah, we'll draw this card. Okay, there's a Clover, so we know we have one in the deck. <sighs> Riulu. That is scary, because I can't knock out a Cartana EX pretty easily. And they can one shot our Lanterns. We'll see though. See what Berto has for us. He is probably wondering himself what is happening right now. The answer is Berto, I don't know. Okay. We're beasting into a into a buzzwell. This is fine for me. Um, because Buzzwell doesn't knock us out next turn. Chinchow, Trainer's Mail, Cynthia, okay, Ultra Ball, Scoop Up, and Mr. Mime, for Zora, let's see, so Jirachi's in the deck, we have one Clover prized, no Greedy Dice in there, great, I, I, mean, like, I don't think Greedy Dice have ever been in the prize cards, like maybe one time, but that's it, alright, we'll see, Santa Bean Hand of Six. Give me a metal energy. Great. Put down Ditto. Done. 
All right. So our hand is not looking good for next time. Let's talk about a VF Seeker. So fighting injury active. Gizma Zora knockout. Ooh, Slugma. Huh. We can scoop up the Slugma, Cynic Cartana, Gladian. Oh, we do have one in there. Okay, nice. Grab a Cynthia for next turn. Okay. We'll put down Slugma. I didn't see a Clover in there. Maybe I was crazy. And Blade GX. A Metal Energy. Okay. So under our opponent's turn. So I think my plan next turn is to sit up Chin Chow, touch a Metal, and Cynthia. And to kind of go from there. Because he's going to be blowing us up every single turn. He's going to use Absorption GX for the knockout for sure. Uh, Sycamore. Okay. Hmm, Tapu Lele Warner Tag, okay. What if he goes for the spread, or does he knock out the. Does he go for the spread, or just one shot at Kartana? Huh. I wonder. Or do we sit up the Ditto and just let the Ditto get knocked out next turn? Might be what we do here. Not sure, guys. Yeah, I think we just sit up the Ditto regardless. If we hit the Lantern, we hit the Lantern, and we're good to go. So Max looks there. Okay, I don't, I don't care about this stuff. All right. So, that, I mean, the question is, what does he do here? So he's gonna jet punch actually and, and knock out the ditto and and I guess it's whatever to me. I don't I'm not too worried about that. You go down to five, own it our turn. We'll put down a metal to Chin Chow and Santi for new hand of six. Huh. Man, we, I really wish we opened Top Deck and Ultra Ball. We can discard the both greedy dice right now for a Zorok. So good, Kui for two. So knockout. Three, four, five, six, seven, seven. Does he have choice pan? Oh, seven, and then that's a knockout. Yeah, yeah, he's got a knockout. He has to go on absorption here. Okay. And going down to three. Well, instead of Chin Chow, we are in Chin Trouble. All right, Viasica for Cynthia. Get a new hand of six. Ultra Ball, Ultra Ball, Double Gritty Dice for a Zork. <clears throat> Chin Chow, Zork. Trade the course. So that's a Cassius. Okay. Man, he's gonna take a knockout going down two, and then he just knocked on Mazoric win the game. Right? What do we do here, guys? Oh, I really do think, like, the Jirachi build is, like, a hundred times better. Just be able to see cards over and over again, it seems like. Because he's got Guzman for knocking on the Zork next one. There's no way he doesn't have that. And we just can't find anything right now. 
Oh my goodness gracious. Let's get the my cargo. We can smooth over, but like whatever we smooth over just gets knocked out. Like it doesn't matter really. Um Yeah, if, if Nespa, uh, I guess it doesn't matter regardless to get knocked out. We could go stretcher. All right, this is what we're going to do here. We're going to stretch Stretcher. Trade away greedy dice. Hit the stretcher. Stretcher. Into our hand. Get a katana. And it's hoping he doesn't have an energy. Right? I guess that's the plan. That's like the best plan of attack. Um, Alright, so this went... Uh, I mean, he could have just knocked out the Cortana. I guess he doesn't know he has a weakness. Of, uh, he just wants out Cortana. Maybe he just want to do maximum amount of damage. Uh, so today went terrible. So we have to think about this. What do we want to do? So let me know what suggestions you want to make. I think we go back to the Jirachi build for sure, right? So we go like, we minus all these, right? So we have four more cards. We put the Jirachis back in. All right, so we go four Stella Wish. Okay. So I still like the idea of Cortana. It just seems really cool. So now we need to find room for skateboards. Mmm. Maybe go like to a one one Macargo. Um. Two Chin Chow. The scoop ups seem cute, but I don't know if they're like necessary. Like yeah, they get back Mr. Mimes. Uh, it's so hard to think about this, guys. Maybe we get rid of the, the trainer's mail. Um, because now we're using Jirachis. So we go, like, less trainer's mail. And then we go, like, a skateboard. I don't know. Let me know what you think about this. And now uh, we'll see how it goes Thursday. So four of those, right? Man, I, there's like some glitch going on in Pokemon Land. I can't, I can't do this right now. All right, we'll play another Macargo. Um, part of me wants to grab like a Super Rod or an Energy Rich Let or Energy. We can go like minus one plus a letter. To guarantee us anything any moment. And then we can play the the met the, the secret metals. Right? Hmm. And then do we even worry about Guzma? This could be another card we can just cut. Because it doesn't seem we haven't really used Guzma at all. Let's cut the Guzma. And just say, you know what? It doesn't matter. We're not going to win by Deckens money out. I don't think. Maybe we do. I don't know. If you're still watching this, let me know. Because I love you if you're still watching this. Okay, we'll go Guzma. We'll put Guzma back. I think the one of Guzma is just too, it's just too good. Hmm. <sighs> this is where I'm stuck right now, guys. But we'll see. I do like this build a little more. Getting Jirachis seems like a better play. Uh, we now have the Nest Balls in the deck. Um, we have a Lantern, which gives us four back instead of the Tutu Oranguru. We could play a third Charmeco, which I think is a better play. And then we go from there. Yes, we lose our Trainer's Mode, but I think we gain 
a lot in this. So I maybe just did lists we test on Thursday and lists people post some suggestions. So let me know. Today went horrible. I think not having Jirachi is terrible. Um, it seems a lot better to have the Jirachis in the deck. Uh, be able to use the um, Stella Wish every single turn is broken. Be able to draw more cards. It's really good. Uh, so this is what we're going with right now. We'll try again one more day to see can we win with taking doing no damage. It's not looking good. Monday was the best day, but Monday we find the glitch. We haven't been able to test the glitch out. We didn't even test the glitch today because it was next to impossible. Um, but yeah, we'll see how Thursday goes. Alrighty, bye.